Today is the first day of 2022, and there are already close to 2,000 new mobile games ready to download. Most of these games are absolutely horrible, but some of them are quite amazing, 10 of which are definitely going to be the best mobile games of 2022. Let me start off by saying that this video is not talking about the games on the top charts of the Play Store or the App Store. Those games are kitschy at best and at worst, complete trash. This is because those games use advertising techniques that are very successful with the young and inexperienced mobile games player base. But there are some mobile games that are truly amazing and take off among serious gamers. Those are the games I have analyzed and here are the top 10 mobile games for 2022. The first game on the list is Apex Legends. The reason I chose this game as the number one game for 2022 is because it is a battle royale shooter computer game port. And for the last four years of mobile gaming, battle royale shooter computer game ports have been in the top three favorites for serious mobile gamers. I believe the reason for this is because computer game ports are often viewed as a safe option for serious gamers because uniquely mobile games often carry with them the bad reputation of mobile gaming. This of course doesn't mean that all uniquely mobile games are bad, but it does mean that a lot of serious gamers are wary of trying them out until they've been tested out by others. And then the battle royale style fits really well with the mobile phone because you're only committing to 20 to 30 minutes at a time. So that is why I think Apex Legends is going to be the number one competitive mobile game for 2022. Unfortunately, the game announced that it will not come out until quarter three of this year, so it'll be coming kind of late in the year. Nevertheless, it will be coming out this year, which is is why I have it on this list, whereas games like Valorant, which I think will do really well on the mobile phone, are not going to be coming out this year and therefore did not make the list, even though there's a lot of hype about that mobile game. The second game on the list is Star Wars Hunters. This is a unique mobile game and I think it is going to do incredibly well in the mobile platform. Star Wars Hunters is set up as 4v4 arena battles where you choose unique heroes from the Star Wars universe. They did a really good job of making them unique and somehow balancing all of the characters ranging from droids to Jedis. It is a Star Wars game which is a theme that does well among competitive gamers but more importantly it is a unique competitive game that already has hype among the gaming community. So I definitely see this game being one of the top games for this year. The third game on the list is Pokemon Unite. This game is already out but it is still at a high point and climbing. It is a 5v5 arena battle that feels like a MOBA but has its own unique flares to it. Pokemon as the company has done really well on the mobile phone, with Pokemon Go being a big part of the mobile rush in 2016. This has resulted in giving them a significant mobile player base, but Pokemon Unite attracts more competitive gamers, allowing them to expand their player portfolio even further. For the fourth game on the list, we have Diablo Immortal. This game has been highly anticipated by mobile gamers for years now. In fact, it has the record for the longest anticipated mobile game of all time. But after all of this waiting six months ago they did release the closed beta and it seems like this year it will finally come to the mobile phone. For those of you who don't know Diablo Immortal is a hack and slash MMORPG that has had really dynamic gameplay three years ago and those playing the closed beta say it's only gotten better. So after all this time it is confirmed that this game is truly coming this year and it should be everything we had hoped for. The fifth game on the list is Frostborn. I predicted this would be one of the top games for 2021, but the game developers kept letting bugs through their game updates and it pretty much destroyed the game. Reviews plummeted below three stars and the game didn't go anywhere. Now, a year later, it seems like the developers have not only gotten the bugs under control, getting their rating back up to a 4.2, but it seems like they're finally ready to start releasing some of the more dynamic aspects of the game. In the update they released last week, they introduced a new Tarkov type event, which has the players of the game as static. The reason the reason why I think this will be a top game for 2022 is because it is the best mobile game of its type. I'm sure many of you remember the game Last Day on Earth from 2017, but it is built with better technology, creating better graphics, and it also allowed them to integrate multiplayer throughout the game. I wasn't planning on adding it to this list, but two months ago the game doubled its download, and again last month it doubled it again, and that was before they just released this event, which many of the Frostborn players are saying is the best update the game has ever seen. 
The sixth game on the list is Odin Valhalla Rising. This is another game I predicted for last year, but sadly it only came out in South Korea. Also, they ended up changing the name because it was originally Project Odin. But as predicted, this game is getting incredible reviews and even got on the Google nominee list for a top game in the most competitive, even though it's only been available in one country, which is pretty impressive. The game is an open world MMORPG and it has incredible graphics. It seems like Lionheart Studios Studios is set on making this a AAA mobile game. The seventh game on the list is Clash Heroes. This game is made by Supercell, which means it will get lots of downloads. But as I said in the beginning of this video, this list is not based on how many downloads it's going to get in the Play Store, but rather how popular it will be among serious gamers. The reason why I think this game will be popular among serious gamers is because it is going to be kind of a unique game for the mobile phone. Clash Heroes looks like it's going to be kind of a Minecraft dungeons game which there's not a lot of those and I think it's gonna do really well for the mobile phone because it doesn't have a lot of time commitment each time you play now I do think this game will be more casual than a lot of the other games that I usually put on these lists mainly because Minecraft Dungeons is still a little bit more of a casual game than some of these other games but also because it's Supercell and Supercell has had a tendency to make more casual games now I will admit that ever since Tencent took over ownership of Supercell they have reduced some of the paywall. Those of you who played Clash of Clans know that they had a paywall to make it to where you simply couldn't max out your base without paying, thus giving you a disadvantage. And while that is still true of Supercell and a lot of their games, you can see in games like Brawl Star, they're toning it down just a little bit. And I think that has to do with Tencent. The eighth game on the list is Devil May Cry. As I've mentioned in other videos about this game, there aren't a lot of high quality mobile games like this one. So I believe this game will perform really well on the mobile market. I thought it was going to come out last year, but unfortunately they only released it in China. Now it did make it to the top download charts, which is hopefully an indicator that I was and am right about putting it on this list, but we'll just have to see when it is released globally, which should happen this year. Lastly, I think the flexibility offered by the fighting styles of this game will be very attractive to serious mobile gamers. The ninth game on the list is Total War Battles Warhammer. Even though the Total War series was one of my favorite on the PC growing up, I almost overlooked this game because I do not think real-time strategy is a good fit for the mobile phone. It's just too difficult to manage so many troops and buildings without hotkeys, and not being able to right-click causes a failed attempt to select something an absolute nightmare. But then when I saw that Creative Assembly contracted NetEase to create the game, it changed my mind. Regardless of what you might think about NetEase, they are brilliant at translating games to the mobile phone. Their understanding of the limitations and strengths of the phone in combination with their awareness of how a gamer thinks and feels allows them to innovate peerlessly. Even the giants of the gaming world don't try to compete with them. They either copy them or in this case, they hire them. So with the combination of a great series and great developers, I'm putting this game in the top 10 of 2022. And then the last game is Battlefield Mobile. This is another computer port, but it is different enough from the other games that I think it will do really well. As mobile gaming technology gets better, Better, bigger battles become more and more appealing. So this will offer something unique to the mobile gaming world. And EA is a big company that is starting to get a little desperate to get into the mobile gaming trend. So in addition to just being a good game with new options, I have a feeling that they're going to advertise the heck out of this game. And that of course doesn't make the game better, but it does affect how many serious gamers will try it out. Okay, so those are the top 10 mobile games of 2022, but I do have three honorable mentions. The first one is is Lost Light, which was created by NetEase, and they did an incredible job. I got really addicted to the game during its early release, and it seems like the game has only gotten better. It has already been globally released, and it's gaining a lot of popularity. It is basically a mobile version of the game Escape from Tarkov, but they made it feel like its own unique thing, and they did a great job of giving it the best that mobile gaming has to offer. The second honorable mention is Tomb Raider Reloaded, which is a new mobile game that is getting a lot of attention. Personally, I'm not so sure. The graphics look a little kitschy and remind me too much of your typical mobile game. But I have been surprised before and there's enough hype around this game that I feel like I needed to mention it. And then lastly, there is Genshin Impact, which quickly rose to the top charts of 2021, but recently plummeted with a bad anniversary gift, causing the players to try and cancel the game, which kind of worked. The game did not get a single award on Google Play for 2021 and the reviews are still down, even though Google deleted many of the bad reviews. 
lose. I'm not sure they will ever recover, so I definitely don't think the game will be a top game for 2022. Well, that's it guys, hope that helps. If you feel like there was a game that should have been on here that wasn't, it probably wasn't because I missed it. I did a lot of research on hundreds of games and this is what I came up with. It doesn't mean they are the best, but it does mean that they are the ones that I think will do the best. That being said, over the next few weeks, I will be doing top 10 videos for each genre, revealing even more of these serious mobile games. If you have a game that you want me to reconsider, please put it in the comments of this video. I will read them and make sure I have thoroughly researched every game mentioned. Alright guys, I'll see you next time.